Okay, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Art Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the dance theater and beat the Komodo Girls, and now it is finally time for us to go back into the uh, bell tower and uh, handle a little bit of business, you know, that business that we can handle. But before we do that, let's take a picture of us one, for one last time because, you know, we got a legendary Pokemon ready to just burn us to a crisp. Yeah, I am not excited about this, guys. I really am not because, e e God, legendary Pokemon, annoying. Yeah, but now that we got the clear bell, we can actually go through this area right here. Of course, this sage will actually tell us about uh, the legend of Ho-Oh, and we do need the badge to actually go through, but, you know, he actually reminds us that you don't only need the Mahogany or the, 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 the Ecrotech City Gym badge to get through here. You actually need the clear bell as well. And here, here we are in the bell chime, uh, bell chime trial. I can't even say that right. And I believe we were here at first, at one point in Pokemon Crystal. This is where you'll initially find Suicune. But now that you are playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver, this is the place where you'll actually find Ho Oh, either versions. And because of this, you will actually find yourself talking to the Sage. He's going to notice the Rainbow. Uh, the, the rainbow wing that you have have attained over at the radio tower, I believe. I think so, yes. So here we are in the bell tower, and, well, believe it or not, guys, there are Pokemon around here. There are Pokemon around here. Uh, not strong, not too strong, but still a little pesky and all that stuff. Nighttime, you'll find some ghost type Pokemon in here, too. But you'll find some Pokemon, and of course, our mom's going to be calling us because she's spending our money. Good gravy. Okay, so... Let's put on the Super Repel. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and find our way around here now. Uh, while I'm playing this game, I'm actually looking at the guidebook that I actually bought for this. I've actually bought this guidebook a while back, like a long, long time ago. Damn near 10 years ago, probably. And, you know, I'm going through every single one of these hippity hoppity spots right here just to grab every item we need right here now. Going into the bell tower, guys, to go capture Ho. -Oh. It doesn't matter if it's Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Just make sure to bring a buttload of Ultra Balls, uh, Timer Balls. Now, if it's nighttime, Dust Balls, because those are Pokeballs that you will be needing to actually, you know, make it a little easier for yourself. The other thing too, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows a Sleeping Move, a Paralysis Move, those types of moves, because oh god, these legendary Pokemon. They are pesky for a reason. And for me, it, for me, it's like this, guys. I am definitely not looking forward to the moment I have to go capture the other legendary Pokemon, including the ones that were added into this game, such as Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, uh, Lugia, Lugia, uh, no, yeah, Lugia. Uh, I think I may have said that three times. Um, you know, every other, uh, every other legendary Pokemon, because... They are just hard to capture, and it just it bugs me. It really, really does. It makes me want to just destroy this game right here. And look at this. We found ourselves a rare candy. Nice. And, well, now it is time for us to move on to the next level right here. Now, this is a bit of a maze, guys. I would suggest grabbing every single item and then moving forward because uh, I think you might find some rare items here, like a rare candy. You know, it's not so often that you find a rare candy. And look at that, we're hippity hopping, hippity hopping, and we're grabbing this an escape rope, which of course you can use if you get lost in here. I mean, I, I got lost in here like three times probably. I don't even know. And yeah, we made it the wrong way, so we're gonna have to go the other way around here. Now, while I'm doing this, you guys may have heard in the last episode, and I'm gonna continue saying this because I am extremely happy about it. So. You guys already know that I am actually doing a weekend walkthrough, which is Pokemon Snap, and this is all because of Pokemon, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap game. Now, that's not the whole thing. Now, what I saw on my comment section was the most surprising thing that I could ever find, and that is, the legend is back. The man, the myth, the legend, light, dark, neutral. For those who don't know, for those who are brand new to YouTube or, you know, Poketubing right here. Light Dark Neutral happens to be one of the, the few YouTubers, Poketubers, one of the first few YouTubers, Poketubers, that made Poketubing what it is today. He had a buttload of uh, walkthroughs, Pokemon, Fire Red, Coliseum, 
Hell, black and white, heart gold, soul silver. Uh, I believe it was a uh, what you might call it, sapphire. It could have been sapphire or it could have been emerald. No, it was emerald because I remember him capturing a shiny Rayquaza. I remember that. It was a no cheat thing. But that's not the point. Light Dark Neutral, the man who actually inspired me to actually go into YouTubing about 10 years ago, is finally back onto YouTube. Doesn't have the uh, same amount of subscribers as he has. He once had. But he's building up his channel yet again. He's coming out with new content. He is getting back into the YouTubing thing. And I'm here to just be, you know, I'm, I'm just here to say it out loud. Light Dark Neutral is back, so yeah, the link is going to be on the description right there, guys. Uh, his page is on my featured page right here on YouTube, so just go ahead and check him out. For those who have known of him, this is not a joke, guys. This is the same fur that we watched about 10, 12 years ago. This is the same guy with the same cool intros, all that stuff. Now, his channel may be a little bare right now, but... I have no doubt in mind that this guy right here will actually bring back the, the amount of walkthroughs that he actually had back when, you know, we were all watching him, inspiring or, you know, aspiring to be uh, the kind of YouTubers that we are right now. One big story that I have about, uh, you know, about, like, Dark Neutral is that, you know, I remember when I first started walking Pokemon uh, walkthroughs, and the first channel I saw was Light Dark Neutral, and this guy right here was barely getting started about he was barely getting started with the Pokemon uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver series. This was actually the very first uh, that I ever heard of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Believe it or not, guys, prior to that time, I haven't been playing any Pokemon walkthroughs or Pokemon video uh, games uh, in over like five, six years. And because of this guy, I got back into Pokemon. I got back into playing the games and all that stuff. And man, I'm hooked. I've been hooked since then. Ten years later, here we are. Close to 9,000 subscribers. Nowhere near to what he had. Believe it or not, I think he had like 100,000 subscribers. Maybe even more. But this is the, this is the guy that came out with... Uh, this is the guy that actually inspired many other ones. Maybe Leroy, maybe Super Skarmory. He was there around their times and all that stuff. And you know what? I'm glad that he's back. So again, guys, the link is on the description. Channel's right there on my channel. It's not that hard to find. It really is it now let's go back right here getting a little confused on where the hell I am and well let's go right in here and well let's see where do we go oh right here gonna grab an item and we found ourselves another nugget because it's awesome and uh, well let's see we're getting close to we're getting close to the top it's just god dang they they make it they make it an effort to mess with you right here now I think this is I think we've already been in this area right here so now we have to go up top believe it's this one right here and well we are getting closer and closer to the very end right here and it looks like it is so let's go right here there's an item let's go ahead and grab that item and look at that we have a max revive awesome okay so let's move right here here jumping 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 and there we go getting into this area right here and here we are almost close to the very very end we have a few items left maybe one or two items right now okay so let's see i cannot go there because that's not gonna oh well never mind let's go there it will teleport me there and here's an item that we haven't got and this is an hp up don't know why we need it, it will not help us against the battle against lugia and our repel has worn off, so let's go ahead and wear one more piece of repels right here, just in case. And let's go. And Jesus, I thought this was the end. Never mind. Okay, so uh, let's see. Where in the heck do I go now? If you guys notice, I am pausing a little by little because I am reading the guide to actually try and find uh, the proper spots to get to Lugia. So again, I'm not trying to, you know, make it suspenseful or anything like right here. So here we go, and it looks like we've finally reached the end. Yes, okay. And this is the end of this whole tower right here, because of course the singular stuff. So here it is, guys, the bell tower. Make sure to save your game. Make sure to have a Pokemon with paralysis or sleep move, because this is going to get a little crazy. Now, trust me, that transition right there. Three friggin' times, guys. It took me three friggin' times to try and capture this Pokemon. It is not that easy. 
So here it is, guys. These kimono girls are gonna start their ritual, ritualistic dance. This is the same thing that they're gonna be doing with Lugia if you guys are playing Soul Silver. So here it is. The clear bell is uh, lighting up, and well, the girls are taking their positions, and here they are doing their dance. Would you look at that, guys? So Ho -Oh has finally appeared after a ritualistic dance, and yes, it is indeed Ho -Oh, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. And yes, our heart is clear with the clear bell and all that stuff. Don't you see? Must be waiting for you all this time. So yes, after all this time, guys, we are going to finally capture a legendary Pokemon. And that happens to be Ho-Oh himself. Now, in Pokemon Soul Silver, this would be the same thing in Lugia's case. Or, yeah, Lugia's case. So here it is, guys. Bring it on, Ho-Oh. Okay, so... Here it is, guys. Ho-Oh, look at all majestic and everything. Level 45 and ready to go. Now, if you are playing Pokemon Soul Silver. Lugia will be the same level at level 45, and Ho-Oh in that game will be at level 70. Right here, we got a level 45 Ho-Oh. Lugia will be at level 70, of course. Ho-Oh will be faster, and we'll start using Sunny Day just to power up its uh, power up its uh, fire attacks right there. As you can see, it's getting stronger and stronger. My thing is, I need to paralyze this guy. Don't necessarily have a move that can actually do that, and we're going to be taking a lot of hits. And I mean lots and lots of hits. Like... A lot. Like so many hits, it's stupid. And bam, there you go. Fluffbolt gets fried. No thanks to that sunlight right there. And well, we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So another thing that you guys need to do is make sure to bring a lot of revives, full restores, full heals, what have you. Whatever point in time that you are in this game, well, of course, you're going to be after the last gym badge. Bring a lot of healing items because, uh, yeah, Ho uh oh does not mess around right here. So, we're going to revive Fluffbolt because the main goal is that we need to paralyze this Pokemon. And unfortunately, Ho oh does not have a physical attack, so it cannot get, you know, cannot get paralyzed off of static. So, we're going to just have to, you know, shock it. And, well, it's not very effective, but that sunlight is actually kicking our butts right here. Holy crud. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go with the swift attack and, oh, crud. The extra sensory right here. Good gravy. So we had no chance with this guy. Again, this is the reason why I. This is the third take. This is literally the third take, guys. And uh, yeah, Ho Ho is not playing around right here. He's a. Yeah, he really does not want to get captured. Now you can use your Master Ball, but that. Yeah. Well, what, what? What's that going to leave the other Pokemon? I would rather use my Master Ball on a Pokemon that you know roams away from all of us. And well, here's a Discharge Attack, and it's super effective. That's right. You are paralyzed, you asshole, ho -oh. You are mine! And, of course, it, you know, has its payback with an extra sensory right there. And, well, the sunlight has faded, so let's go again. Let's go right ahead and start capturing this guy right here. Now, I do have a lot of Ultra Balls. So let's go right ahead and start throwing some Ultra Balls. Come on, stay the ball. Stay, oh, god dang it! Well, it's not giving me a chance right here. And of course, it comes out with Sacred Fire. This move right here is a strong one, and I do believe that Sacred Fire heals all Pokemon, or heals the user too, I could be wrong, or it's the Sacred Ash. I don't even know, guys, but there's something sacred that heals everything. I don't want to get eliminated that quickly, so we're gonna use Nessie, just as a bulky 
water detergent and all that stuff and here it is again with another ultra ball does not work good gravy and here comes another sacred fire good god come on sacred fire does it do it can it do it oh my god no way and just like that a critical hit wow took out half my team with just one hit god damn okay talks to batman come on man come on use a bite attack don't faint don't faint don't faint okay there we go and here comes another sacred fire attack good gravy man stop using that attack let me capture you you know you want to be part of the team and just like that, Toxic Batman is burnt. And, well, he's about to faint right here, so come on. Let's kiss this Ultra Ball for good luck right here. Come on. Be the one. Be the one that captures this ho-ho. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. One, two, three. Oh my god. Yes. And there you have it, guys. Ho-ho has been captured. That's right, Ho, you're now mine. You are now mine to use and control this world with. The Rainbow Pokemon Legends claims this Pokemon flies the world skies continuously in its magnificent seven colored wings. Yes, this is a magnificent Pokemon. And no, I will not nickname it because, uh, well, look, the, nick the, the name says it all. It's Ho Ho. I used to think it was Ho Ho. You know, a big old Ho. So, just like that, guys, we have uh, captured Ho, completed the Ho Ho event. And now we are enabled to go to the Pokemon League, so let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else to do except fly back. And you can actually fly from here, guys. So let's go right ahead and fly straight back home because we got stuff to do. Like go to the Pokemon League and all. Alrighty. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we are going to the Pokemon League. We are going to win it. And we're going to say goodbye to this walkthrough for a month or two or so. I don't know. I'm just kidding. See you guys.